because you know as, as I put it this way it's like a when you buy a box of apple or something you always find one or two open in it you're not gonna check the box I just picked the shotgun and uh, when I pulled the trigger there was no bullets on it and uh, I just yelling I said come I'm here I'm come I'm here I just wanted to take his focus more on me than he doesn't go inside the mosque so I don't know what happened he just dropped the gun he just ran and I chased him uh, with his own gun and I saw him sitting on his car on the driver's side we wasn't that close but I could manage to throw the gun on his car and smashed his uh, car window. Then I could see he's a bit frightened. He thought I'll die a shot on him or something. That's why he ran away, you know. Until a very long, long time, I don't know if my uh, kids was alive or dead or they injured or anything because I couldn't go inside the mosque again because the police wouldn't allow me. Even I told them I got my other kids, but I was handcuffed first because uh, some people, when they see me outside with the gun in my hands, they thought I was the gunman. It was a very bad day, you know, I mean, it was very, very shocking, you know, to see something like this, you know, that much dead body around you, and you could see all your friends, you know. We lost our very, very close friends, you know, we lost a lot of our close friends. Right, in January, I just moved to Australia, and when the brother came, uh, I took him around and started yeah. riding. Allah give him, Allah give him Shafa, inshallah, if uh, they allow us to go.